Uh, hello, welcome to Game of the Week. This is week three now, and we have a real match on our hands. This is the uh, OQL equivalent of the upcoming Godzilla vs. Kong film. We have the Division 1 champions from last season against the Division 1 runners-up from last season. I'm sure you all just want to watch them display quiz mastery, so I will leave you in their very capable hands. All right. Um... Yep, I'm Steve Bonneman. I'm reading today. I apologize for being American. Um, our teams today are at home, Quiz Machine Kills Fascists, which includes... Hi, I'm Oliver. I'm from South London. Hi, I'm Paul Sinha, and Steve, you don't have to apologize anymore. It's official. <laughs> I'm Ned, also living in London. Hello, I'm uh, Peter Edis. I'm uh, I'm a deputy head teacher, and I live in East Sussex. And for the other team, we have Jeff Maltby Fan Club, which includes. Hey, I'm Steve from Derbyshire. I'm Nick from Northamptonshire. I'm Phil from Reading in Berkshire, uh, seat three and captain of Jeff Maltby this evening. Uh, I'm Ian from Essex. Okay, after that, I feel like I should say, well, we all know the rules, so let's get on with it, shall we? Uh, Phil, will you please call a coin for me? Heads, please. Please and thank you. It's heads. Would you like to go first or second? We will bat first, please. All righty. And the first question is to Steve Cook. Let me get set up here pretty quick. All right, Steve. The fictional continent of Westeros is the main setting for which major HBO TV series? Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is correct. Oliver. Vancouver is the largest city in the Canadian province of British Columbia, but which other city is the capital of the province? Peter. Victoria. Victoria is correct. That's what I was going to say. Next question is to Nick. Haiti and Zaire made their only appearance at the Men's FIFA World Cup in which year's tournament? I'll only be guessing, so. Uh, pass to Ian. 1970? No, over. 1974. 1974 is correct. One point Sorry. for Paul. The next question is to Ned. The company Hite Jinro is the world's leading producer of which traditional clear colorless distilled beverage of Korean origin? Five seconds. Team. Uh, soju. Soju is correct, Paul. One point. Phil. Raphael Warnock's victory in the 2020-21 U.S. Senate election in Georgia helped give the Democrats control of the U.S. Senate. Since 2005, he has been the senior pastor at Ebenezer Baptist Church in Georgia, which very famous man was co-pastor of the same church from 1960 to 1968. Martin Luther King, Jr. Correct. Two points. Yeah. Peter. On 18 March 1965, which Soviet cosmonaut became the first person to conduct a spacewalk? Leonov. Leonov is correct for two. Ian, mm -hmm. which UK grime collective achieved two number one singles in the early 2010s with the songs Good Times and Green Light? Roll deep. Two points. And Paul. Cogito ergo sum, commonly translated as I think, therefore I am, is a quote first made in 1637 by which philosopher? Uh, 
Descartes. Descartes is correct. That round ends seven to six in favor of Quiz Machine. We go back to the top for Steve Cook. Which Bulgarian who won a gold medal at the 1996 Summer Olympics is the current women's world record holder in the high jump? Um, pass. And okay. Uh Yes, Kostadinova is correct. Oliver, what is the two-word name of the meme that involves a smug-looking baby clenching his fist at the beach? Five seconds. Team. Oh, yeah. Ollie's gone for oh, yeah, isn't it? Uh, oh, yeah is incorrect. Over. Anyone? I guess. No, just mummy tot. The answer is success, kid. Mm. Back to Nick. Zach, Kane, and Shadrach are all members of which family in the TV soap, Emmerdale? They first appeared in 1994, and 11 generations of the family have appeared in the soap. Dingle. Dingle is correct for two. Ned. Which large obelisk found in the National Mall in America's capital city was built to commemorate the first U.S. president? Washington Monument? Yeah. Shame you don't have me for that tough American content. Um, <laughs> uh, Phil. Sorry. Phil, the only completed opera of its composer, the opera Boris Godunov, which premiered in 1874, was a work by which Russian composer? Um, Rosowski? It is. Masorgsky, two points. Peter. Dmitri, Ivan, and Alexei are the titular characters in which Fyodor Dostoevsky novel? The Brothers Karamazov. Yes, two points. Ian. Coming to the throne in 1485, Henry VII was the first English monarch from which royal house? Tudor. Yes, two points. And Paul. Named for a Villain from Greek mythology, which chemical element, that is number 73 in the periodic table, is used in electronic equipment such as mobile phones and DVD players? Tantalum. Tantalum is correct. You have no idea how hard it was for me to say mobile. Round three. Steve Cook, founder of the Green Belt Movement. In 2004, Wangari Matai became the first African woman to win the Nobel Peace Prize. She was from which country? Liberia? No, over. Kenya. Yes, was that Paul? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oliver, the British author Mallory Blackman is best known for which series of five novels and three novellas that is set in an alternative history in which native African people had colonized the European people? Noughts and Crosses. Noughts and Crosses is correct for two. Nick, ranked number 10 on Rolling Stone magazine's list of the greatest drummers of all time, Stuart Copeland was the drummer in which band? The Police. Yes, two points. Ned, the Basil Kalmet Guerin vaccine, also known as the BCG vaccine, is a vaccine that is primarily used against which disease? Tuberculosis. Two points. <laughs> Phil, starring Ingrid Bergman and Angela Lansbury in an Oscar nominated debut role, which 1944 film noir is set against the backdrop of the murder of world famous opera singer Alice Alquist? Thank <sighs> you. 
Nobody knows. I'm gonna have to guess. Um, like second gaslight. Yeah. Two points. Oh, good answer. Very nice. How did you do that? I named a film that I knew that Bergman was on. Yeah. <laughs> That's literally it. Very good. Very nice. Peter. <laughs> Sorry. Peter, which dish of cold cooked chicken meat, herbs and spices, and a creamy mayonnaise based sauce was first prepared for a 1953 event involving Queen Elizabeth II? Coronation chicken. <laughs> It's got to be that easy for me to get in a food and drink. <laughs> Two points. And I'm sneezing. Sorry. About you, that. you knew the Korean thing, didn't you? That wasn't easy. I was four fingers. I would have got the answer. Yeah, don't bluff us. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is trash talk at this level of quiz. Everybody just talks about everyone else being better than they say they are. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Ian. The road hole is the famous 17th hole at which British golf course? The old course St. Andrews. Yeah, for some reason only St. Andrews is in the blank, but yes, St. Andrews is correct. Paul, in economics, which word describes an economy that is experiencing slow economic growth whilst also experiencing inflation and high levels of unemployment? Ned, stagflation. Stagflation is correct for one. Steve, what you want, baby, I got it. What you need, do you know I got it? Are lyrics in which song that was first released by Otis Redding in 1965, but is best known for its 1967 release by Aretha Franklin. Respect. That is correct. Oliver, the extremely sharp teeth of which South American fish have been used as tools for wood carving and cutting hair by a number of South American tribes? Piranha. Hopefully. Say again, please. Piranha. Hopefully. Piranha is correct. Okay. Chose to take a drink right while you were saying it. <laughs> I apologize. Nick, which French city gave its name to the battle that was the opening phase of the World War I Allied Offensive, which began on 8 August 1918 and was later known as the Hundred Days Offensive. Is that done? No, over. Ned? Over here. I'm here. Amia or Picardy is correct. Great answer. Great answer. Thanks. Uh, Ned, one of Les Trois Grandes Dames, the three great ladies of Impressionism, which woman was the only American who was officially part of the Impressionism movement? Yes, that's. Yeah. Really, really didn't need me for this hard American content. <laughs> anyway, Phil. So Ely Nastase and Simona Halep are Grand Slam tennis champions from which country? Romania. Yes, two points. Peter, notable for its processing of tuna, Pago Pago is the territorial capital of which non-sovereign state? American Samoa. American no, Samoa played. is correct. Very good. Played. Ian, set in a distant future where the polar ice cap has completely melted, which 1995 Kevin Costner film was the most expensive film ever made at the time of its release? What's a what? Sure is. And Paul, from 1973 until his death in 2002, the British actress Sheila Hancock was married to which actor? Thaw. John Thaw is correct. We switch ends, so we begin round five with Oliver. Oliver, Angola, Togo, and Trinidad and Tobago made their only appearance at the Men's FIFA World Cup in which year's tournament? 
Cool. Ned. 2006. Yeah, you know, only to have their dreadlocks pulled out from under them. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not supposed to say that to you all, am I? Uh, anyway, Steve. Which philosopher famously proclaimed God is dead in his 1882 work, The Gay Science? Nietzsche. Nietzsche is correct for two. Ned. Coming to the throne in 1603, James I was the first English monarch from rich, which royal house? See that? Yep. Two points. And Nick. What is the two-word name of the meme that involves a young girl with a devilish smile in front of a burning house? Five seconds. Fire starter. No, over. Holy arsonist girl. This is disaster girl. What has no. on the sheet? And only that. It takes some effort. Yeah. Uh, Peter. Jack, Annie, and Joe were members of which family in the TV soap Emmerdale? The family was introduced in the show's first episode in 1972. Sutton. Yes. Two points. Phil. Calgary is the largest city in the Canadian province of Alberta, but which other city is the capital of the province? Edmonton. Yes. Two points. And Paul, what is the name of the English DJ who achieved two number one singles in the early 2010s with the songs Louder and Hot Right Now? Five seconds. Team. Holy. DJ Fresh. DJ Fresh for one point. Okay. But um, couldn't and be. Ian. Used in the construction of powerful permanent magnets, which hard, slightly malleable silvery metal with a name derived from the Greek form new and twin is number 60 in the periodic table. Neodymium? Neodymium is correct for two. Oliver, ranked number one on Rolling Stone Magazine's list of the greatest drummers of all time, John Bonham was the drummer in which band? Uh, Led Zeppelin. Yes, two points. Steve, in 1955, American virologist Jonas Salk created one of the first effective vaccines against which disease? Albert Sabin developed another oral vaccine against the disease in 1961. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Two points. Ned, starring Will Smith and Kevin Klein as two U.S. secret agents who work together to protect Ulysses S. Grant, which 1999 film was at the time of its release the most expensive film ever made, adjusting for inflation? Five seconds. Team. Holy. Wild Wild West. And you roll into the Wild Wild West is correct for one. Nick. Noumea is the capital and largest city of which non-sovereign state? During World War II, the city served as the headquarters of the United States military in the South Pacific. New Caledonia. Yes, very good. Oh very good. Great answers today. Yeah. Went there in 2019. Anyway. All, right. <laughs> All right. Peter fought in an area of modern day Poland, which World War I battle fought between 26 August and 30 August 1914 resulted in the almost complete destruction of the Russian Second Army by German forces. I get a repeat on the year. 
It is 1914. Yeah, um, Tannenberg. Tannenberg is correct. <laughs> I, I realized, yeah, I kind of changed course. At 1914 is, is not a year that exists in real life. Sorry about that. Uh, Phil, which chicken wing dish is generally deep fried, then coated or dipped in a sauce consisting of a vinegar-based cayenne pepper hot sauce and melted butter? It is named after the city in New York State it was invented in. Uh, buffalo. Yeah, buffalo wings. Which are amazing. Uh, anyway, Paul. Amen Corner is a trio of famous golf holes at which American golf course? Augusta. Yes, Augusta National is correct. Ian. One of Les Trois Grands Dames of Impressionism, Summer's Day was a key work by which French painter who was the sister-in-law of Edouard Manet? Morisot. Bert Morisot is correct for two. Round seven. Oliver. Starring Ingrid Bergman and Gregory Peck, which 1945 Hitchcock film noir tells the story of the new head of a mental asylum who turns out not to be what he claims. Spellbound. Spellbound is correct for two. That is not the question that ever gets asked about Spellbound. It is not. <laughs> they, they left out that part, yeah. yeah. Um, Steve, which three-word term in economics describes the process of breaking down tasks so that separate groups or individuals can carry out each task? Division of labor. Division of labor is correct for two. Ned, you took a mystery and made me want it. You got a pedestal and put me on it are the opening lyrics to which 1986 song by Diana Ross. Then I say. Okay. Uh, chain reaction. Yes, Paul. Mm -hmm. Chain reaction is correct. Nick. The capybara, which is native to South America, is the largest animal in which order of mammals? Rodent. Yes. Two mm -hmm. points. Peter. Petra Korda and Petra Kvitova are Grand Slam tennis champions from which country? Um, Czech Republic. Yes. yes. Yeah. Or Czechia or Czechoslovakia for a bit. Yeah, yeah. I had a feeling Corda won it before it split. But yeah, well, that, that, I was a little confused. Yeah, but all, all of the yeah. things are here, so you can't really mess it up too bad for that. Yeah. Phil, which American author is best known for the Broken Earth trilogy of novels? For these works, she became the first author to win the Hugo Award for Best Novel in three consecutive years. Jemison. And Kate Jemison is correct for two. Paul, which, uh, sorry, Paul, in 2011, which woman became the second African woman to win the Nobel Peace Prize? From 2006 to 2018, she was the president of Liberia. Um, Ellen Johnson Sirleaf. Ellen Johnson Sirleaf is correct there was, for two. There was a Liberian that won in the same year. So that, that was. Yeah. Do you know? Yeah. Um, Gabawi. Correct. Yeah. Uh, There's an epic quiz. <laughs> anyway. Ian Toms. From 1983 <laughs> until his death in 2017, Puerto Rican beauty queen Wilnelia Merced was married to which British entertainer? Sorry? Uh, say again? Forsyth? For, yeah, Forsyth, sorry. I, I didn't catch the first syllable at all, so I... Uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, it's all good. It wasn't your... It's, it's just how Zoom works sometimes, all right? Let's go. Oliver Levy. 
John Ossoff's victory in the 2020-21 U.S. Senate election in Georgia helped give the Democrats control of the U.S. Senate. At 33 years old, he will be the youngest Democrat elected to the U.S. Senate, since which very famous man was elected as a senator for Delaware, aged 30, in 1973. Joe Biden. That's the one. Two points. Well held, mate. Well held. Do all the maths. Um, Steve Cook. The best-selling liquor in China, which clear, colorless liquor is usually distilled from fermented sorghum? Five seconds. Team. Anybody? Whatever, I guess. No. We'll scratch that. Okay. Over. Pui Chai. The answer is by Jiu. Yes. J I U. Mm. Men. Which Czech athlete who won gold medals at the 2008 and 2012 Summer Olympics is the current women's world record holder in the javelin? Oh, that was something else, isn't it? Oh. Five seconds. What's the cover? Uh, can you say that again, please? Spotakova. Spotakova is correct for 10 yeah, no, for 2. Well done. Great answer, Ned. Thanks. Well, for sure you had to pass that. <laughs> Great stuff. Yeah, that, that was another Zoom situation where there were so many different consonants you so, could have been saying there. I was like, it's the right yeah. number of syllables. Awesome. <laughs> anyway, uh, Nick. The cavalry officer, Count Alexei Kirilovich Vronsky, is the lover of which titular character in an 1878 Leo Tolstoy novel? Anna Karenina. Anna Karenina is correct for two. After that, it is 54.49 to Quiz Machine. Entering the last four questions. <clears throat> and we go to Peter. Premiering in 1934, Lady Macbeth of the Mitsensk district was an opera by which Russian composer? Dostakovich. Is a full house. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Phil Small. Which man who was killed in the 1967 Apollo 1 mission in 1965 became the first American to walk in space? Oh, I feel like I have to guess, but I don't know which one it is. Grissom? No, over. Oh, sorry. White. Ed White is correct. I, I, I had to go for it. I, I know what the three were, but I just, yeah. I just oh, didn't know which you, one it was. You, yeah. you did have to go for it. Absolutely fine. Seven for eight for Phil after that. Yeah. Uh, Paul, which author wrote the A Song of Ice and Fire series of novels on which the TV series Game of Thrones was based? Martin. George R. R. Martin is correct for two. And my Game of Thrones duck. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so. if you ask that question, Paul can get it. <laughs> and finally, Ian. Found a cross from the Washington Monument on the western end of the National Mall, which U.S. National Memorial was built to honor the 16th President of the United States. The man in question was President from 1861 to 1865. Lincoln Memorial? It is the Lincoln Memorial. That is a full house. Well done. What a name. Well played, guys. Well, very well played, everyone. I've got to say, I think that's the highest quality game of quizzing I think I've ever been involved in. That was something to watch. No one got fewer than five twos. Um, yeah, holy mackerel. <laughs> really well played, everyone. Uh, yeah, you guys barely made a mistake, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, barely made a mistake. Nothing came over, didn't it? 
No. With all due respect, Peter, I thought Phil was on course for one of the best full houses I've ever seen. But yeah, it's he was, it, I, I, I swerved myself as well. I don't know why I said Grissom, because I knew he was the first one to go into space twice. And I thought maybe he can't be. He have two notable things about him, but I just yeah. had not heard it. So. Yeah. No, it's a lucky right. so it includes CSI something or other. 